Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to be talking about the Snowflake interface. So first of all, let us log into our Snowflake account. So this is um this is how the interface look like. So let us um navigate through the interface. Here you're going to find your user your your name and your privilege. Here you can change the, your roles. So I'm on account admin. You can make it um organization admin, public. You can make it security system admin and user admin. So it depends on the, the role that you want to use. Under here, you will see, you can see your profile. Here you can navigate to the documentation. You can request for support um, backup. And this is the privacy notice and you can actually sign up from here. So um, um, the dashboard should be empty. So um, this is um, the data. But for you to use this data, you need to um, grant yourself the permission to use this um, um, database. The marketplace allow users to discover, assess, and consume live and ready to query data set. This section provides access to different provider and their database. So, and this is um, the support that provide comprehensive support section where you can get help with different topics relating to the platform. You can also assess Snowflake documentation and knowledge base from, from the help and, um, help and support. And this admin is the, is the section that I intend for Snowflake administrator provides access to different administrative features, security, billing, and auditing. And um, for the worksheet, this is, where the, this is where the main job takes place, the worksheet. So let's click on it. So you can create new worksheets here. You can, this is, um, you can create a SQL worksheet or a Python worksheet. So let's create an SQL, a SQL worksheet. So this is where you click and let's, let's click select and you will see the auto complete. So you can just click and read select from, we don't have a table. We don't have a table at the moment. Let me just click, let me just see testing but it doesn't exist, so I will not run it. So this is how, these are the main dashboard of Snowflake. And here, under here, you can see the um, warehouse. So here you can choose your warehouse and you can choose, um, you can, you will see the status is suspended. You can choose the minimum cluster and the maximum cluster and um, the scaling policy and auto resume. You can enable auto resume here. So basically this is um, the, um, basically this is the, this is the user interface of Snowflake. Thank you for watching and keep learning.